welcome to this month's two minute tip. Today we're going to be looking at stretches. So Imagine has loaded a Landsat image here. It automatically puts on a stretch so that it accounts for all of the very high values and very low values in the image. Because we have a lot of cloud here, it stretched it too dark for the areas we're actually interested in so that we can see the clouds properly. So we're going to use some other stretches to account for the cloud and so that we can see our desired areas, which are the fields here, which at the moment are pretty hard to distinguish. We're going to go into the raster tab, discrete DRA, which is an automatic dynamic stretch which applies over just the area you're viewing. So you see that's picked up those fields and urban areas really well. So as I move around it's accounting for a different amount of high values and low values. So it stretches in a slightly different way all over the image. So if I find one that I particularly like I can lock it. I go into properties there in the drop down continuous DRA and this little lock icon. Okay. There we go, now it's a static stretch. As you can see it's very hard to see the clouds now, but we don't mind about that. Okay, so I'm gonna undo that, go back to Imagine's automatic stretch. Now I'm gonna go into adjust ray geometry in the multispectral raster area. If you're in 2013 it's going to be called just general contrast but in the same area. In 2014 you've got these nice previews of the stretch here. So you can apply no stretch and just the ones down the bottom there appear in 2013. There you go, if you click on them they automatically apply to the viewer. And if you hover over it, it also tells you what type of stretch it's applying. So no stretch shows you how the image normally appears without Imagine's automatic stretch. If you go into the bottom half, general contrast buttons, now we can apply different standard deviation stretches and see the preview. Generally, the standard deviation stretch over viewer extent histogram source is quite a good one to use. If you do the whole image, it changes quite dramatically. You have a whole list of stretches to do here, and they'll come out down that list so that you can compare later which one you actually want. Okay. I'm going to go back to discrete DRA here because I like it. Okay, you can also use these blending tabs. The top one's contrast, the bottom one's brightness, and that one's filtering, which makes it sharper and blurrier. Not as useful as the contrast and um, brightness bars. Okay. I'm just going to lock that so that it looks nice for now. And I'm going to show you how you can just stretch a small area of the image. So if you had lots of cloud and, or shadow, you can put this viewer just inside the shadow and it will illuminate just that pack, so you don't have to stretch the whole image, just this tiny section. So this is called the Inset Viewer in the Home tab. Now I want to do, I'm going to decrease, um, increase the contrast there. Doesn't really help me, but it shows, <laughs> shows you what it's going to do. There you go. So you can get a better contrast on the urban areas there.
You can adjust this to any size, it fits. If this window is smaller, the amount is magnified more. If this window is larger, then you get a demagnification magnification effect. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this month's two minute tip. Tune in next month to see another instalment.